Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? Get some coffee. We're traveling, headed to Pennsylvania, but I want to stop and uh, get you up to speed with some of the things that are going on. Of course, we're praying for the people of Puerto Rico that are still suffering uh, in that nation, uh, in that island, U.S. territory of Puerto Rico, and our hearts go out to all of you. And pray for Turks and Caicos, because right now, Hurricane Maria is bearing down on top of that island of Kirk's, uh, that, air, that whole island area there of, Kirk's and Ka- of Turks and Caico. Now, earthquakes we know are something that people have to be always aware of. And there is a report. I just checked the earthquake map. Looks like things are settling down a little back to about normal, which is about 30 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Praying for all the folks in Mexico from both quakes that they had that were so devastating. Uh, And the fact that we've had all of these catastrophes, Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Jose, Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Max, Hurricane Katia. Right now there's there's others that are forming off the coast of Africa. And of course the two major earthquakes in Mexico and the two solar flares that erupted on the sun, Kim Jong-un threatening World War III, wildfires that burned out of control in the West Coast and in Canada. I mean, all of these things have happened since the solar eclipse of August 21st, 2017. We're still in the 40 day, that today is day 32 of the 40 days warning of that solar eclipse, the 40 days of repentance. And you have to start thinking about earthquakes again, because Jesus said there would be earthquakes in divers places. So there's a report out today Uh, from Yahoo News on the cities that are the most overdue for a catastrophic earthquake. What cities in the United States are most at risk? Uh, The likelihood that the United States will see a catastrophic earthquake within the next 30 years is very high, and I'm going to say a whole lot higher than sooner than 30 years. It's not just the West Coast that's at risk either. Seismologists have warned that the United States is overdue for an earthquake because of a catastrophic one has not occurred in the U.S. since 1989. I remember that. That's when that earthquake killed at least 63 people in California during the World Series in San Francisco and Oakland area. Um, Now the U.S. has, has, it's been the most destructive earthquake the U.S. has ever seen was a 7.9 earthquake the great San Francisco earthquake of 1906, which killed an estimated 3,000 people. According to the agency, as more years have passed without earthquakes, the pressure is building along certain fault lines as these tectonic plates try to shift, including the Pacific Northwest and California. Earthquakes which occur when two earth surfaces move against each other are typically difficult to predict and impossible to prevent. But the United States Geological Survey maps out high risk zones based on seismic and geological data that take take into account when and where these earthquakes occurred in the past, among other measures, to help predict the future events that are coming, according to some experts and research geophysicists at the U.S. Geological Survey. And there are hot zones, folks. And the the highest hot zones is all along the West Coast, from the southern tip of California all the way through uh, along the coast of uh, Oregon and Washington. Also, there's some hot zones out in Idaho, especially up around the super volcano at Yellowstone. But then, really, Alaska's got some hot zones and so does Hawaii. But a real hot zone is the New Madrid fault line. Just right around St. Louis, Missouri, Memphis, Tennessee, on down, right along the Mississippi River, right at the tip of southern Illinois area. Um, That whole area right in there uh, is just... It's right along the uh, Tennessee border, the Arkansas border, the Missouri, uh, southern Missouri, uh, 
south western uh, border of Kentucky, southern Illinois, southern Indiana, right there, New Madrid is the most hottest spot over overdue. And also, there's a little spot over in eastern Tennessee in the Appalachian Mountains that's overdue. And also, over in South Carolina, near the coast, there's a spot right there that's overdue. So, and then there's a little bit in Colorado, and there's some of those, but that's where the, the zones are right now. That uh, According to the U.S. Geological Survey, those are the areas that they are most overdue. It's the whole coast, west coast, and New Madrid. And uh, so we're, our prayers go out to everybody that live in those areas because obviously, you know, for New Madrid, it's, it, 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 there was two ma massive earthquakes, 1811 and 1812. And then it's been silent. I mean, we're talking 205 years. So, again, these, Jesus said there would be earthquakes in diverse places, but these would just be the beginning of sorrow. So, you know, you, you look at all the apocalyptic events that have been going on. We're still in the 40-day window. We've seen the hurricanes, and we've seen the solar flares, and we've seen the earthquakes in Mexico. But we really don't know what may happen in the next eight days of this 40-day warning. Will Kim Jong-un fire off a nuke? He just said he was going to teach the deranged President Trump a lesson for his speech, that, that, they, that we would have to pay a price for that. We don't know what that means. We know he can fire missiles, and I noticed he fired two missiles over top of Japan and nobody shot him down. We talked about how we can shoot him down, but we didn't shoot him down. What does that mean? And so there's just a whole lot on the table right now, a lot of concern. Iran said they're going to go forward and beef up their uh, missile uh, defense systems and their missile capabilities. They don't care. And so, I mean, seriously, we're in a different world now. We're in the last days. We're in the end times. You need to uh, just take a deep breath. Don't walk around in fear. The Lord hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but be aware of the things that are happening Make sure you tell your family they need to start looking to Jesus Christ, need to understand the times we're living in. We can't ignore it. It isn't going to go away. We're living in the last days. And the joy of Jesus Christ is still the greatest gift that you can receive if you give your life to him. Walk in peace. Walk in the blessing. But be aware that these are the last days. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern live in just a few minutes. God bless.